Okay, the next video I'll be checking out is Keeping Up with Star Rail Simulated Universe Gold and Gears Special Program. This program is brought to you by the Intra Desert. Learn from the Simulated Universe Expansion Module Test. The so-called simulated universe goat? Yours truly! <laughs> Not even ten Lord Ravagers are enough to scare me! Well, my wish is that all who cross paths with me are blessed with good fortune, including in the new algorithmic branch of the simulated universe, expansion module Golden Gears. Madam encountering you is the epitome of good fortune. Do me a favor, don't tell Herta about the slices, alright? Is it true that after your last test, you wrote very easy on the feedback form? Yep, the Trailblazer told me to write that. Hmm. Your feedback is exactly why we've added new mechanisms to the universe, which encourage participants to be even more creative. No wonder that was so exhausting. <laughs> Assembling dice, rotating compasses, precisely calculating intracognition values, not to mention the erudition resonance extrapolation. <laughs> I'm gonna need some tips. Mm. By the way, is it true you visit in the space station? Is that why you're able to make it to the show today? Correct. Herta summoned all the simulated universe collaborators. Not everyone showed up, but I happen to have some important business to take care of. Who are the collaborators? Whoa, well, what the hell? Herta sent out the call, there must be some interesting history and fragments to explore and assemble. <laughs> Looks like we'll need the Trailblazer to be our guinea pig again. <laughs> Oi. Yes. Now that you mention it. It's only fair that your hard work is rewarded. Seriously? Miss Ron May, you're too generous. What's with the Dr. Vision music also, again? There's a new feature designed to lighten the tester's workload. Did you notice it? You must be referring to the shared weekly progress between the simulated universe expansion module and the original simulated universe. It means that Trailblazers can now accumulate weekly points in the simulated universe while testing the expansion module. When asking for someone's help, it's only proper to minimize their inconvenience. You mentioned wanting some tips, right? Well, I gotta say, I think I aced the testing with flying colors. <laughs> but some parts were confusing, especially the dice. Am I supposed to assemble them myself? It was Steven who came up with the concept of custom dice combinations. You may run into him in the expansion module. He's a fascinating individual, always pushing the limits of the game with his groundbreaking ideas. <laughs> Just like our Ron May pushes the limits of life with her groundbreaking ideas. Oh? Seems you've also heard about the Life Helix system. Let's focus on addressing your questions first. Uh, right, right, right. Dice assembly. Dice every assembly. side is something I like, then every roll of the dice is a good one. Time to think like Steven. Uh. You have paths and dice as your variables but they aren't directly linked to one another. A good strategy is to focus on how choices affect each other, so you can maximize the effectiveness of each choice. Oh! So for instance, if I choose the newly added erudition path, and do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, there, what do you think? It's hard to say, but <laughs> no, making choices that stay true to yourself is always encouraged. However, I would suggest the following. Okay, give it a try. Madam Ron May's dice set up. There would be some high level logic at play here. D wait, what? Increase cosmic fragments! You seem quite pleased with this setup. Ooh, should I buy another one? Another increase? I get it! It's all thanks to the dice! Not that stop me now! It's all about the money! Hey, the shop's still around, right? I haven't hit my target earnings yet. <clears throat> Getting back on track, are there any restrictions to dice face setups? There are less restrictions and therefore more high quality dice faces now than before. Different combinations and arrangements can produce interesting results, so be sure to update your dice with your favorite faces as soon as you acquire them. Okay. Unless you prefer a more intense experience, of course. I can handle intense. Even with black dice, I'm bound to get lucky. I mean, look at all these curios I found. An interesting choice. The rotting fruit of the alien tree could be somewhat useful to the general of the law fool. <sighs> Way ahead of you, madam. <laughs> good fortune lies within bad, and bad fortune lurks within good. It's difficult to know which is which in the moment. And if the fortune is really bad? Well, should you encounter a cuckoo clock fanatic, what you thought was misfortune might actually be fortune in disguise. Their generosity won't leave you shortchanged. 
Okay. Still, utilizing your own intelligence and wit can bring you more than you might expect. Luck isn't everything, especially in the simulated universe. Brown May, I couldn't agree more. I tried my hand at the Lucky Compass Challenge a few times without success, so I left it to the Trailblazer. Then I ran into the Avoiding the Beams Challenge, and I thought I had about figured out. Why do you remember this? I asked you, Kong, for a helping hand, only for us to discover that techniques can't even be used in that room. What's this? Why, it's a precious memory with you. And there's even more to be excited about. When faced with so many tantalizing options, how do we even make a choice? These pertain to transactions between Herta and the IPC. If you want my advice, think rationally and don't let greed consume you. Or, well, that happens. It's all good. I recouped everything while exploring the map. Wait, what is this? It seems you finally caught sight of the intercognition system. Intercognition Adjusting system. your intercognition value can help you understand various laws and stories. The world is full of contradictions. Organic versus inorganic. Good versus evil. Calculation versus prophecy. It creates a rational effect where truth isn't singular. Got it! So what exactly is the purpose of the recommendations in this intercognition system? To help testers navigate this new system without too much confusion, we've incorporated system-based guidance. Following the system's guidance can lead to extra rewards. Now that I think about it, when I follow the system's recommendations, I got more extra drops than usual. With these extra rewards, I'll be able to trailblaze the cosmos even faster and gain more Stella J! <laughs> what was I gonna ask? Uh, as more paths become available in the simulated universe, will blessings become more scarce? <laughs> I'm a little concerned. We thought of that, too. That's why in Golden Gears, we implemented a system to prohibit specific paths. Once you prohibit a path, it's unlikely you'll come across it again during your current exploration. Talk about user-friendly. Leave it to Madame Ron May to think of such a brilliant idea. Still, I don't want to prohibit anything. After all, the more paths, the more path residences. It's just surprising that these path residences are no longer exclusive to testers. Given that Noose is the Eon of Erudition, encountering residence extrapolations in the expansion module that are related to this path is to be expected. I hope this doesn't cause any headaches for Trailblazers. It's given me a headache! But you did a great job testing this special version. We'll look at your test feedback to see if any essential changes need to be implemented in the official version. Thank you, Albert. <laughs> My pleasure, Madam Ron May. I don't know if you like pets, but I was wondering if I could be it's your... It's best I don't answer that question. Is that the answer she gave to you, Trailblazers? <laughs> I brought some homemade treats for you. They're just as delicious as the slices I implanted into the universe. Ooh, snack time! <laughs> Madam Ron May, your cooking is the best! Don't forget to test the simulated universe. The expansion module is waiting for you. Uh, as much as I'm happy to see Ron May in this keeping up in this episode of Keeping Up Star Real, after watching that eight minute video, I was like, I have absolutely no idea what in the world is going on, buddy. <laughs> like, dude, oh, because normally. When it comes to keeping up with story, right? Normally, they will give an um, a brief explanation or on on this character, um, their talents and whatnot. But this one is confusing as hell. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, you know what? You know what? You know what? I think it's better if I jump right into the go and gear some simulated universe but not today but not today i will definitely jump right into the, the, the go and gear some simulated universe to have a better understanding of what the hell is all about instead of because this video to be frank is not really helpful i'm, I'm really I'll, I'll be frank it's not really helpful the only way because to me the only way to experience um the simulated universe is by is just to have a hands-on experience on that particular um, simulator universe, because that's I think that's the best way to learn is to go through the, the experience. I think that's pretty much it. Instead of watching videos and and, and they were like, "Buddy, what the hell am I looking at? Your explanation is kind of like 
Oh, it's so confusing as as F I was like. So yeah. Still, I will definitely check out the um, the new simulator universe Gold and Gear sometime later in the future. Hope so, do look forward to that.